Hi everyone, this will be our first uh, remote learning lecture for those who require this session for review or if we have uh, missed any lessons. We'll be using uh, question one from the house sizing assignment and this will be used as an example. So let's uh, quickly uh, go into this. There are basically three parts to this uh, first question and in this video we are looking at part A. And part A refers to the field line that we'll be determining in this example. So let's look at question one example. So over here we have three subsea reservoirs discovered with the following reserves. Field A has 57 million barrels of oil and 19 billion cubic feet of gas. Field B has 42 million barrels of oil and 15 billion cubic feet of gas. And Field C has 21 million barrels of oil and 5 billion cubic feet of gas. And for the Monohull FPSO, it has a maximum production of 68,000 barrels of oil per day and 40 million standard cubic feet per day for the gas. And this oil will be planned for production and storage in the storage tanks while gas will be exported through a tie-back arrangement to an existing subsea pipeline. And for part A, if oil and gas production were to be carried out together at the same time, what is the fuel life for these three oil fields combined? And we assume that there's 325 days in a year for the work year. So if you look at it, we are looking essentially at 325 work days per year. The remaining 40 days will be disruption due to workover, bad weather, and emergencies whatsoever we have. All right. So how do we find the field life? First, we add up all the oil and all the gas, and after which we divide it by the production rate per day. And there we will have the field life. So let's look at the total oil and gas reserves. So, total amount of oil would then be 57 million plus 42 plus 21, and that gives me 120 million barrels of oil. So where do we get 57 plus 42 plus 21? I'm sure you guys have seen it from the data over here. Right. And next, let's look at the total amount of gas. Okay. Total amount of gas. then equals to 19 plus 15 plus 5 and that would give me 39 billion standard cubic feet of gas and you would probably have guessed it is right about here as I've highlighted it once you have this we divide it over the production rate and if you can see the production rate for all is 68,000 for gas is 40 million standard cubic feet. Okay, so let's look at the oil. So production time for oil. Would then be equals to the total amount divided by the production. rate and that would give me 120 million barrels over 68,000 barrels of oil per day. So if you look at it, 
120 million is actually 120 times 1,000 and 68 is basically 68,000, right? So what we have is 120 times 1,000 times 8,000 divide by 68 times 8,000 and days so if you cancel the 1000 so what would we have left after division 100 1764.7 days and in a year we have 320 to 325 days uh, per year All right days per year so this will work out to be 5.43 years so if you look at it this is the fuel life in terms of oil production. So next, let's look at the gas production. For gas production, we'll need to add all the gas together, which is 39 billion standard cubic feet, and after which we divide by the 40 million standard cubic feet. Okay, so let's scroll up. time for gas stand equals to 39 billion standard cubic feet over 40 million standard cubic feet per day so 1 billion is equal to a thousand million so if I can write it here 1 billion is equals to 1,000 million so we expand out in this that would give me 39,000 million over 40 million and that would give me 975 days and in a year there is 325 days so end up with three years for gas production All right and by the way just miss out something on top here right it's still the same thing it's essentially total amount divided by the production rate for gas right so this is what we have for the first part a in terms of fuel life so total amount of oil divided by production rate we end up with 5.43 years for oil and for gas we have 39 billion standard cubic feet divided by 40 million standard cubic feet per day we end up with three years enjoy thank you